Hey everyone, hope you're all doing very well. Welcome back to another one here on the channel. In today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at the very best battery pack that we've ever tested on the channel and comparing that up against the very worst battery pack that we've tested on the channel. Ultimately, what we're doing here is we're comparing the power output at different stages of the discharge cycle for each one of these battery packs. We're gonna see what one battery pack has in terms of power output versus the other at these stages time periods. The data that we're using here in this video comes from the individual battery tests that we do on the channel for multiple different battery packs. Thanks a lot to the Patreon supporters for your continued support making these types of videos happen. If you want to download a copy of all of the battery tests that we've done here on the channel, I'm going to leave a link in the description below. Let's now jump right into it and compare values of power output between the SMC and the Z battery. Here's our data set. Now what we're going to do here is we're going to cover exactly what's going on within this single graph. So this graph is looking at wattages between the SMC versus the Z battery pack. Now looking at the graph from left to right, we cover four different periods of time. The wattage that we're covering in this first section is at maximum current. This is essentially within the first five seconds of pulling the trigger, 100% throttle on this load. And then the second bit of data that we have comes at the 10 second mark. When that battery is under load, after 10 seconds, this is the wattage that we pulled. The next one is the same idea at 30 seconds and the last one that we have here is the wattage that we're pulling right at the cutoff so the cutoff here is set to 3.3 volt as soon as we get lower than 3.3 volts this is going to cut the pack terminate everything there and that's the value of wattage that we're gonna pull so now let's go through the actual values that we got when we look at the SMC versus the Z battery pack the wattage at maximum current this is the maximum amount of power output essentially it comes out to 1811 watts for the SMC versus 1354 watts for the Z battery pack. That's a drop of 25% when you look at the 1811 from the SMC going down to 1354 for the Z. Now looking at that 10 second mark, you got a wattage of 1702. So it's dropped 100 watts already after 10 seconds for that SMC. And it's done about the same for the Z battery pack we were at 1354 now we're dropping to 12 17 watts that's now a difference between these two battery packs of 29 percent now looking at that third element here we have wattage at 30 seconds 1629 on our smc and then it drops to 1210 for our z battery pack this puts us back at about 26 percent drop going from smc to the Z battery pack at the 30 second mark. And then when we look at the last component, this one's unique in the sense of the wattage at cutoff for the SMC battery pack is 1280 watts, but the wattage at the cutoff for the Z battery pack is 1160. Now what this graph doesn't show you is the difference of how many milliamp hour. This Z battery pack was only going for a very short period of time. And what happened is I have the values here on another sheet you got 872 milliamp hour out of that Z battery pack. But out of the SMC, you got 4,804 milliamp hour. So just imagine that you get like five times the capacity out of the SMC. And even after that much runtime, you are still going to pull 1280 watts right up to that very last second. It still beats the Z battery pack that's only ran for a very brief period of time. Now I wanna go and show you all this data, break it into its details. So if we look at the next sheet that I have here, we can take a look at some specifics like the actual current values and the voltage values. So across the left side, we're gonna go through this one by one here. The voltage on that SMC was able to be maintained at 15.35 where the Z battery pack could barely get to 14.01 volts. That's a difference in voltage of 9%, a difference in current of 18%. When you look at the actual wattage, that means it drops down to 25% overall there going from SMC to Z. Now at the 10 second mark, this is more closely matching what you'd probably appreciate as an element time if you are considering getting the most performance so you can make a very fast pass right when that battery is fresh. Somewhere between the 10 second and the 30 second mark is probably gonna be where you're sitting at. So the voltage 
at the 10 second mark there under load is 14.9 on the SMC and 13.41 on the Z battery pack. That's a 10% voltage difference and a 21% current difference because of the 114 versus the 90.7 amps. And we talked about the voltage of the previous one. The maximum current that the Z battery pack was able to see was 96.6 amps, very low. The SMC was at 118. Now jumping back to the 30 second mark, we got the voltage on the SMC at 14.75 and the Z battery pack at 13.56. This is a voltage difference of 8% and a current difference of 19% resulting in an overall wattage difference of 26%. Then looking at power output right at that cutoff, the SMC was still maintaining close to 98 amps right at that cutoff where the Z battery pack dropped down to 88 and a half. So the voltage was approximately the same because this is essentially where the packs got cut off and terminated. 0% there difference on the voltage, but the big difference that we talked about is the milliamp hour and that's 4,804 versus the 872, an 82% drop in capacity, usable capacity down to that 3.3 volt mark. Now the big question is, is if we didn't actually cut this battery pack off at a voltage cut and we let it draw more power under a lower voltage, what would happen? Well, essentially you'd end up running into a thermal threshold. And that's what the graph is here in the mid of the screen, the top mid here. So this is the Z battery pack. We did this video here on the channel as well, where we tested the actual C rating of the, of the Z battery pack. Essentially the way that we do this is we load the battery pack at these different current values. Values, we measure the temperature and we see at what current level through the entire duration of the battery pack does it not thermally max out. And when you load it at 80 amps, you can only get 2860 milliamp hour out of the pack. If you load it at 70 amps, you can only get 3700 milliamp hour out of the pack. If you load it at 65, you're only getting 4037 milliamp hour. And if you load it at 60 amps, you're going to get to 4279. And what's going to happen? is you're going to hit that maximum temperature threshold, meaning that your Z battery pack has a C rating that is quite low because its maximum continuous discharge rate is this 60 amps. So when you compare this against the uh, SMC. The SMC was able to deliver all the currents that you see in the value here. It went from 118 when we started the, the discharge and it went all the way down to 97.7 where it actually just hit the voltage cutoff delivering 4,804 milliamp hour which defeats the 4,279 from the Z even when the Z is only putting out 60 amps for the entire duration. It didn't start at 70. We did a constant current load here and that constant current load was 60 amps. Now this performance difference between a good battery pack and a poor battery pack is quite substantial in we can see that right from the data here in front of us. And just before we conclude here, guys, I did want to let you know that one week from this video coming out, we won't have a video up on the channel, but don't worry, the following week after that, we will continue as normal. Well guys, that pretty well does it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did creating it. I've never really seen the battery pack's performance when you compare the best versus the worst. There was a massive difference between these two. If I had both these battery packs in one of my electric jets, there's gonna be a significant difference. One of them is gonna be able to fly the plane well and the other one is not going to fly the plane well and could get myself into trouble past that 30 second mark or so. Until next time, like the video if you do, don't forget to hit that sub button so that I can see you guys in the next video. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next one.